is going guys it is the boss here with another video for you guys today today guys we have yet another small youtuber interview and today's subject that we will be interviewing is nerds in the bay um this is a pretty cool guy that I talked with for a little while on Facebook, guys. Pretty cool dude. Uh, he does, as he explains himself in the video at a couple different points in the interview, he does do a lot of different gaming content. He does a lot of different uh, martial arts content, wrestling content. He just does a whole bunch of stuff over there, including some comic book stuff. So if you guys want to go and check out his channel... Check out the channel link in the description of this video. Go give this videos a watch. See if it's your kind of content. And um, who knows, maybe we could help him get higher to 1K. Uh, which is, uh, I believe, one of his goals right now. But uh, other than that, though, guys, just check out the link in the description and see if uh, you guys are interested in his content. And subscribe if you are. With all that in mind, though, guys, let us get into his YouTube story. Hey, guys. I'm Marco Flores from Nerd in the Bay. I'm doing an interview from The Boss Official. So thank you for having me. And, uh, yeah. Let's uh, get into these questions. So what made you start doing YouTube? I don't know. I wanted to create something. Like that was that was the mindset. I was I remember I remember the time like I was I was part of this martial arts team called Team Loop Kicks. Uh, they also have a YouTube channel. Um, I was a part of that martial arts team. I was performing with them for years. Um, and I was I'm getting I was getting on the older side of of that team, so like you know the the knees were, I mean I'm just I'm just I forgot what how old I was like this was, uh, 2013, um, so I was feeling much of like the older side of, of that uh, that team where it was much it was becoming more of a younger team, and I couldn't do as much of the the movements uh, that uh, we, we were all. Uh, doing uh, in performances, so I was like, okay, well, if I'm not, I'm not going to be able to do that so much. Uh, what, how, what am I going to do with the extra time that I will have uh, if I'm not doing the, like performing stuff and like you know, just filling that creative, I guess, hunger that um that 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 was uh, fulfilling at that time. So the thing that the sentence that just stuck to my head was, I wanted to create something. I wanted to make something. Uh, that I can interact with people and we can like go back and forth on, you know, the things that, uh, that well, on whatever I was creating. So like, I'm, um, if you don't know about my channel, I encompass everything that's, that's quote unquote nerdy. Um, like I, like I'm into things like video games, of course, uh, comic books, anime, movies, TV shows, um, pro wrestling, um, and martial arts and anything else that encompasses what a, what a quote unquote nerd would would be into. So like that's that was that was like the template of like what my channel was gonna be about. And I still I still didn't know even after the, making the first video what I wanted to make. The very first video that I made was basically about like just having a Q and A session uh, with uh, just asking like my friends and whoever I knew on Facebook, just sending questions, and then I would just share like my thoughts and opinions on uh you know what i thought about the, the questions that they asked um so i mean that, that, that was mainly how or why i wanted to create my youtube channel was i just wanted to create something i and i didn't know what it was uh, and i was like okay well i'm into these things how do i talk about them and share like share my opinion and and actually like why should you care about what i think about these things so like yeah i mean i just it, it always goes back to I wanted to create a thing and I wanted to talk to people who are into those things. What sort of inspiration do you have for the content that you produce on your channel? I didn't have so many, so much inspirations. I was, I was watching, I am still watching a lot of YouTubers, like well-known YouTubers that are out there. I mean, it started off with Phil, you know, Phil DeFranco doing the news and doing pop culture news. And then when he created SourceFed and SourceFed Nerd, um... I was I was high on on those videos, just like just watching every single video, just listening to what they were doing and, and 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 just being being engaged in what they were doing in their channels. Um, I think if there was any sort of inspiration that I got from my channel, especially the Q and A part. I feel like that came from uh, SourceFed's uh, comment commentary, where they would just comment on the the. 
comment on the comments uh, that people were leaving on their videos and then just you know just sharing their opinions about stuff so if, if, if a comment was asking a question about something they would just respond and you know have some sort of like uh you know just some sort of humor and all that stuff because because they're in a group setting where i me versus me i'm just by myself so uh, i mean i mean when he comes with me, I'm you're just I'm just sharing my opinion, and if it's entertaining enough, awesome. If not, then that's okay. I'm just sharing my opinion. Um, other inspirations, like I watch Let's Plays, of course, uh, video games of uh, Let's Players, like like you know, Super Best Friends, uh, you know, Maximilian Dude, um, stuff like that. So, I mean, the that type of videos that I've been I've been doing on my channel didn't have so much of inspiration other than yeah source fed common commentary and then like let's players that are just you know just commenting on like the you know the scenario at hand and whatever the game they're, they're playing and like you know if they're trying to like for like uh you know like uh say like sell something for you like on you like oh like oh yeah i really love pro wrestling this is why you should love pro wrestling because it's so dumb and stupid and it's funny sort of thing but yeah not so much I mean, I feel like only two things they were only it was able to inspire like a little bit of my channel, but a lot of it was just what do I want to make, um, and how do I go about doing that? So it was a, it was a lot of like work in progress and how I would like it. I I would like to watch a video and and stuff like that. So yeah, not, it's a little bit of inspiration, but a lot of it was just like okay, what do I want? What is something that I would want to watch that that is the thing that I'm interested. What's been a great YouTube experience that you've had so far? A good experience, a great experience that I've had so far with YouTube. Um, definitely getting paid uh, before the uh, YouTube ad apocalypse happened. Um, for the fact that people have like watched the videos and commented and and liked and actually disliked, um, just in engagement in general uh, was, is a great experience. Um, let me see. Uh, being able to just interact with other youtubers and, and like-minded um like people that are interested in the same stuff that I, you know i am um that's been a pretty good experience um so stuff that i actually want to experience of course is like you know going to a con and 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 actually for whatever reason somebody will come up and uh you know walk and say hey you know i watch your stuff and like you know that would be pretty crazy um that's something that I would like to get to. Um, I know that's like one of the other questions, um, like ahead of ahead of what I'm, I'm trying to answer. But yeah, yeah, I would say like getting paid um, for for the stuff that I that I've put out uh, in terms of content, um, and just yeah, just general engagement really. Because um, again, didn't think that I you know anything that I would make that people would want to engage with. So like that's pretty awesome and pretty crazy thing to, that uh to do you have any future plans for the future of your youtube channel um i mean to be honest to be able to, to keep going um at the pace that i'm at uh just uh, as long as i can where it continues to fill um my you know creative hunger um and you know that that can either be like like you know doing this for a good long time or maybe for another couple of years before i, I start getting tired of uh, the creation process, but um, as of right now, I'm still loving the fact that I'm making content and people are watching and engaging. Um, I mean, to me, honest, I don't really have any sort of big future plans. I mean, I'm just there's goals that I'm trying to strive for. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Just just keep going until until I feel like yeah, I think I'm pretty much done. What's one funny moment that you can recall from your life? So a funny moment uh, that came up to mind like just now, because as, as I was trying to think of like moments, um, doesn't really relate to the YouTube channel per se, but just it's something it just came up when the question was asked. Um, this was basically my very first, one of my first martial arts performances with uh, the team, Team Loop Kicks, and. Um, you know, we had, we were doing the group thing of like, you know, doing all the moves together. And then everybody had solo, uh, solo sets where they, you know, you do your thing and, and then, you know, you're basically, you have the spotlight for like five seconds or so. And I didn't have anything planned. I had nothing planned. I was just doing chops and punches and spinning around and, and all that stuff. And like, in, in the, like, as I was, 
as before I was about to go, I was like, okay, what do I do? What do I do? Right when I was going, I was doing, you know, the handsets and stuff. And right, and as I was going, I just thought, just dance. You rotate your hips, right? Grind it out, like dance in it out. Like I was the only one out of my whole martial arts performance uh, team of that demo that I was the one dancing. So I, and, and I literally didn't like know anything. I was just like, I was just ro rotating my hips. I was like, yeah, looking around like, yeah. That's what I'm doing, and then I got, I got, I got the pops. Like I got pops. I was like, woo, woo yeah. But <laughs> I had literally had nothing, you know, going. I was just like, ah, uh, okay, just go, just do it, just do it. So uh, yeah, I think that was like a funny moment um, that I could even, like, can even think of, I think of when it comes to like funny moments like that. What's a favorite and least favorite video game of yours? Favorite game. Uh, it depends on the day. I, I have a lot of like favorite games. Uh, one day it could be. Uh, Street Fighter, like any any of the Street Fighter games in the series. One day it could be Street Fighter, another day it could be Suicoden, which is a role-playing game from Konami. Konami, you need, need to make more C-coding games. Um, you know, another day it could be Final Fantasy, like in terms of franchises, but like specific games in general. Um, Street Fighter, from the Street Fighter series, I, I tend to go with like Street Fighter Alpha 3 or like Super Turbo. I tend to go to those games. Um, let me see. Like when it comes to Super Coden, one and two are definitely like the ones that are like my, my favorite. Um, Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy six, uh, six moving forward. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Is there any other games that I really like? Um, I really like beat 'em ups. I love beat 'em up games. Like you know games like your Final Fights, your Streets of Rage. Um, any obscure double dragon double dragon of course um bad dudes bad dudes don't get like enough pop but like yeah bad dudes back in the day but least favorite games i don't know that's a good that's a good question because a lot of the games that i play back in the day and now i have some sort of like like it's a genre that i'm into so i don't know about least favorite games that would be a hard question that I really need to think about, and I'm kind of on the spot, so I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not too sure. And what's a major goal of yours for either your life or your YouTube channel? All right, my major goal is like the final question. The major goal uh, for me that uh, right now, in terms of the YouTube uh, thing, is <clears throat> right now getting a thousand, getting past a thousand subscribers. Um, I'm at like nine sixteen. I'm like I got like a big good surge. Um, like these past, like past week, week and a half. Um, but I'm at 916 and I've been do at this, like going like for five years. So like, like every year it would, I would get like at least like a, like a hundred subscribers. If I'm not trying to promote anything, I'm just letting the videos like out and I'm just, just sure I'm just sharing it on Facebook and Twitter like once or twice. And yeah, I would get subscribers that way. Um, the, like natural growth. So we got like around a hundred. Uh, but when I'm pushing, when I'm pushing the videos with like with Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Reddit, trending, and all that stuff, um, yeah, I've gotten this good. I've, like for the past like year, year and a half, I got this big, big surge uh, of subscribers because I'm interacting with the like-minded people, and people are just are are finding my channel more and more. So uh, right now, the short-term goal is a thousand subscribers. The long-term goal, I believe, would be for to get a play button. I believe. But well, the first play button is what ten thousand subscribers. Is uh, that's where I want to go, uh, especially with me being a variety channel, uh, not so much on the niche side. So, um, and that's probably like that's probably like a a a, mm, a kind of like a mission statement goal uh, is that uh, I often hear that you have to have a niche in order to grow like ex like fast which yes i i actually do agree with that um what i don't agree is the fact that you if you have variety in your channel you won't grow or you won't grow as fast which um you know i've been at this for five years and yes i do agree to the part of the part that you grow slower as a variety like you have a variety of videos but i disagree with the part where you can't grow at all i have I have video game videos, I have martial arts videos, I have topic videos on like anime and comics and wrestling, and they all have their small audiences, and I, you know, that's the thing I'm trying to, uh, trying to break a barrier is that you can do, it's your channel, 
You can do whatever you want. You want to stick with the niche, go right ahead. You want to do a bunch of variety stuff, that is your channel. Um, but just be aware that you may not be able to grow as fast because you, there's uh, people that want the specific niche of like just video games or just comics or whatever. Uh, but you can still grow as a variety uh, channel. So that's that's my goals. Play button, thousand subscribers, past a thousand subscribers, and breaking the barrier of a variety channel, uh, being able to grow uh, as whatever uh, as as either as fast as possible or as you know as it can be uh, as a variety channel. So thank you, uh, the boss official, for this interview. I had really uh, a lot of fun with the questions. Uh, I can't wait to see this, and uh, good luck to you guys that are trying to make YouTube channels. Good luck to the boss official for just continue to grow, and uh, I'll look forward to seeing you guys in in my channel. Uh, let's see, youtubecom slash Bay. If you guys like uh, nerdy stuff, like you know, video games, mobile games, comics, anime, movies, TV, pro wrestling, martial arts, what have you. Uh, check out my channel if you if you like the stuff that you see. Please, please uh, subscribe as we're trying to hit that uh, thousand subscribers. Uh, so I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, thank you, uh, the, the boss official, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. And that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Uh, big thanks to Nerds in the Bay for being on the channel. Really cool talking with you, man. It was really cool seeing all the different content that you produce out on your YouTube channel. Like I said at the beginning of the video, guys, um, and you've heard in this video. Go check out his content and uh, see if it interests you via the link in the description. If you guys enjoy his stuff that you see, subscribe and, uh, you know, support him if that is what you guys want to do if you're interested in what he does. But with all that in mind, though, guys, thank you so much for watching today's interview. If you guys did enjoy it, give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new with that bell notification on so you can catch my future videos and live streams if you guys do so wish. And comment down below what you thought of today's interview as well as if you want to do an interview yourself and we can set that up. With all that in mind, though, guys, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out, boss.